Hello everybody, Chris here, and in this short video we're going to be taking a look at the BlueStacks 2 emulator for Android devices. What you'll immediately notice upon booting up BlueStacks is that it looks quite a bit different than a typical Android device or an Android emulator. Um, notably because it's kind of customized its welcome screen and its app screen. Uh, to kind of advertise these different uh, games that are out there and uh, the ones that are available for you to download. Now, uh, you can, of course, download many games like this or many apps, but if you want to get the full access to, let's say, the Google Play Store and all the apps that would be really available on the Android device, um, then you need to go ahead and uh, look up how to actually install the Google Play Store. It's not too complicated. Uh, it mostly involves downloading a zip file and uh, uploading the contents to the BlueStacks emulator. But once you have that installed, uh, you can go ahead and grab other things like the Amazon store and have access to all of the apps that you may want to play or run on your emulator. Now, uh, what I would say is that it does seem to play games pretty dang well. Um, the previous day I was having a, some random issue with Pathfinder Adventures, but I booted it up again today. And it seems to be running very, very smoothly. No real issues there. The animations play flawlessly. I can log in, uh, launch a game. Everything seems to be A-OK -okay there, which is great. Because um, I think historically I was doing some research and games like Pathfinder Adventures weren't exactly compatible with all devices. So being able to get that to run, that's pretty nice. And uh, you can, of course, get other games like Hearthstone to run, uh, ones that... Uh, don't run into those issues. Uh, so, as far as a gaming platform, seems to be fairly solid. Uh, have really no complaints since Pathfinder Adventures is once again working. Um, now, over here on the right, something I've been ignoring for a little while, uh, but is quite relevant if you are of the gaming type with what you want to do with your emulation. Bluestacks TV is basically a... Uh, part of this emulator which allows you to tie straight into twitch tv so that you can stream your gameplay online um, this is something that a lot of gamers like to do and the fact that it's basically built into the emulator is a really nice uh boost uh, like a boon because uh if you ever tried to stream with like a phone or a tablet then you know it's a pain in the ass and, uh, yeah, there's not really a lot of apps which allow you to, uh, to do that smoothly or to even do it at all. So emulating Android and then streaming to Twitch on your PC may be a much more viable option, especially because at the same time you have all of the access to PC controls and whatever you're going to need there, maybe interacting with chat. Um, but, yeah, being able to just sign in and stream straight within BlueStacks is definitely a nice thing to have. Now, lastly, we'll take a look at these controls over here on the right. The more notable ones are going to be uh, take screenshot, which, of course, you could do with Windows as well. But just a one click and being able to send that to wherever you need it to go. Um, install APK, which is useful if you're going to be downloading APKs and installing them manually. Copying files from Windows, which... You know, if you have anything you need to bring over from Windows, like a video or a image, you can do that. And the rest, like volume controls, are pretty standard. So I've been Chris. Thank you for watching. I hope this gave you a good first impressions look at the BlueStacks 2 emulator for Android. And if you found this helpful, consider checking out my Patreon. I'll see you in my next video.